tired of high insurance premiums? Here are some alternatives. Today we're talking about the big problem these days. Why is insurance cost climbing and what we have heard that some homeowners are resorting to? With a little advice and ingenuity, we can navigate these choppy waters together. Let's face this storm, no pun intended, head on. In the past year, home insurance rates have soared almost 21% nationally. Why? Well, extreme weather like storms, fires, floods are all to blame. These disasters and damage homes, leaving insurance companies to repair or replace the homes. And as a result of these huge losses, they need to increase their insurance premiums. And as insurance gets pricier, we have heard that some people are going without insurance or getting a little creative. Those who choose not to carry insurance and hope that nothing will seriously occur are leaving it all up to chance, which we do not recommend in any way. Let's say your home's replacement cost is $250,000. This amount is what it would take to fully replace your home. You would have to put aside $1,000 every month for 10 years to have saved half of what it would cost to replace your home. Don't forget that the cost of replacing your home increases every single year. So a home with a replacement cost of $250,000 today, perhaps in 10 years, will have a replacement cost of $400,000, increasing what you would need to set aside each month. But what about your personal stuff inside your home, like your TVs, your computers, your clothing, and your furniture, or money that you might need to live somewhere in the event of a covered loss while your home is being repaired? Or worse, what happens if you were to get sued? How much money would you need to set aside to defend yourself, your family, and pay for any lawsuits that you might lose in court? If you were to create a plan to save for unexpected home repairs, what would that look like? Here is what we have heard that some homeowners are choosing alternatives to home insurance. Self-insuring means you're your own insurance company. It sounds cool, and as I have already discussed, it requires a discipline to save large sums of money to cover yourself in the event of an emergency. Community funding like GoFundMe can offer a safety net, but it's unpredictable. And while friends and family might lend a hand for some small items, they may not be there for the big repairs and such as legal expenses, the cost that can quickly add up. There are some alternatives to a comprehensive home insurance policy, but they come at a cost to your coverage. Or you just go with a basic insurance policy. Again, these all come at a cost to your coverage. But if it's between carrying no insurance for a temporary time, these basic policies are better than self-insuring yourself. As an independent insurance broker, we can guide you through the maze of types of insurance policies and coverages available. We can compare different policies to find the best coverage at the lowest price for you that's tailored to your specific needs. Having an independent insurance broker on your side, it's like having a personal shopping assistance, but for insurance. Navigating rising home insurance costs might seem daunting, but knowledge is power. Understanding your options and working with experts can help protect your home without breaking the bank. Together, we can face any storm on the horizon. Stay informed, stay protected. Thank you for watching.